What's going on guys? Today I'm excited to finally announce I'm gonna be partnering up with ASUS Republic of Gamers for the next six months. I'm gonna be running all their peripherals throughout my stream, the keyboard, the mouse, and the headset. I'm gonna be showing you guys what they sent me and then I'm gonna be unboxing it and showing you guys how it looks on my actual setup. So you can get an idea of what they look like and if you're considering upgrading to something new, then you'll get an opportunity to see what that's all about. So with that being said, let's take a look at some of the stuff that they actually send me in the mail. Starting off with the keyboard. So this is the ROG Strix Scope. Here we go. Comes in a little tiny box, my tiny little hands. You guys can see, boom, boom, bam. So we're gonna be taking this one out and uh, seeing what that's all about. Comes in a nice little sheaf. Ooh, ooh. All right, man. I like it already. So I am a fan of like very low profile FPS style keyboards. So this is definitely up my aisle. I have a very similar one that I'm running right now. So this is gonna be a nice upgrade. So just like other gaming keyboards, they have mechanical switches. These are running ROG RX red switches. I am a fan of red switch, red or brown. So this is perfect for me. Obviously it's got that USB connection, but it also has the full functionality port inside the keyboard itself. So you can use that for device charging or external uh, storage capacity, or even plugging in another peripheral. It's got a stealth key to tap and hide all apps and mute audio for instant privacy. And it wouldn't be an ROG keyboard without light up functionality. Per key RGB LEDs with central lighting for all around illumination, backlight ROG logo and customizable lighting effects. And it's got, and it's FPS ready. So it's got an extended control key for crouch and other commands. So just perfect for me with sometimes I fat finger a button. So this is gonna be working out nicely. I can already tell no more accidental grenade kills. I promise you guys. Cool. Well, I'm looking forward to seeing how this works out and how it looks in the setup. Next, the moment a lot of you guys have been waiting for. The mouse replacement. It's finally here. The day has finally come for me to replace my mouse that has been basically broken for the last 14 months or so, give or take. We're going with the ROG Shockroom Core. Now there's a wireless version of this, but I am more of a wired guy. I know some of you guys are too, but if you're looking for one or the other, there is both. And there's more mouse options on their website as well. But the Shockroom just kind of spoke to me. 1600 DPI optical sensors, um, an Alps scroll wheel, gonna be interesting to learn more about that. Screwless magnetic buttons and top covers, two zone aura sync RGB lighting and the uh, ROG logo and scroll wheel. So it also has adjustable weights, push fit switches for socket designs and programmable analog digital joysticks on the side, which is really interesting. I'm kind of curious on how that's gonna work out. Let's open up this bad boy. All right, so automatically I can see there's some extra buttons and possibly some weights. Um, it comes with these little pliers. I'm not too, not too sure exactly what those are. You guys can see that. Um, I'm assuming it has something to do with exchanging certain components or possibly even changing out the joystick. I'll look in the manual a little bit here, but here's the actual mouse itself. Very simple in its design. I personally like simple, sleek, black. It's gonna light up nicely. I'm curious to see what it's gonna look like. So it's got the two buttons on the side and it's got this joystick. See that, look. look that, what's going on here? I'm really interested to see how that like, oh man, I wonder what, like, that's so weird. I've never actually used a mouse like that before. So I'm, I'm really excited to see what I can do with that. Um, yeah, very cool. I wonder what we can do with that programmable wise. So I guess I'm going to find out over the next couple months. Next, the ROG Delta S headset. Now this is one of multiple headsets in their lineup, but this is the wired Delta S. Um, again, I'm a wired guy. I'm for lightweight design. It looked really cool. So this is why I asked for this one, the Delta S. And then also read some reviews online, really solid. Um, some of the features, noise canceling microphone, enjoy crystal clear in-game voice communication delivered by AI noise cancelization, microphone technology, full balance sound, 
uh, leading high hi-fi grade ESS9281 quad DAC for better clarity. Uh, delivers 50% clearer audio than single DACs and master quality authenticated technology, packages premium audio in a compact file sizes and enhancing the listening experience. They're lightweight, they're only 300 grams. So it's also got the hybrid ear cushion with fast cooling fabric and ergonomic reverse D shapes to provide unparalleled comfort during extended gaming sessions. Um, I don't know about you guys, but I play a lot of video games, right? So anyway, let's go take a look at the Delta S. Let's see what this thing looks like. It comes with a very nice holographic card here. And it says, welcome to the elite Republic of Gamers community. Your ROG Delta S headset was designed and tested by professional gamers to immerse you fully in every thrilling experience. Get ready to rise up to the next level of gaming mastery. Game on. Dude, that is badass right there. Look at that. Cool. All right. So here we are. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. Dude, it is so, it is so light, so light, man, that is, uh, I've got to be honest. That's different. That's very different. It's got good noise canceling. It's all over ear, which I prefer. I don't really like open back headsets. Um, there's a microphone in here, but it's in the box still, but I don't typically use the, um, the microphone that often. So I like the fact that it is detachable, but let's go take a look at that real fast. Comes with this little box inside. I'm assuming. That is where all the goodies are. No way. Okay, this is a surprise. Not only. Now this is, this is, you guys are gonna like this. Extra lightweight ear cups. How many headsets have I had in the past where the ear cups have gone only to have to scavenge online for replacement ear cups, either created by secondhand or otherwise? I'm not suggesting that these, these, um, these are completely, this is, these are a bit more heavy duty. The ones that come pre-installed right here. I'm not suggesting that these are going to rip easy. I'm just saying, who knows? You guys know Vincey, my dog, hypothetically, he grabs onto an ear cup, boom. We got replacements, a little bit more lighter weight, a little bit softer material. Uh, I feel like these are definitely built for hotter environments or if you're just getting you're getting sweaty, getting a little too sweaty, getting your game on. So actually kind of a big surprise there. Wasn't expecting that. There is the microphone attachment. So let's like chuck that in there real quick. Hard, quick start manual. We also have a USB-C to USB adapter. Boom, right there. Nice. Because this is actually, um, comes with USB-C right, right in there. So, ready to go. Asus also sent me a scabbard. So, right here, I have a long cloth scabbard or mouse pad, basically. So. Been rocking these for a long time, so this is essential. I'm gonna be running the Republic of Gamers gear, the Asus gear. Gotta get a scabbard to go under the keyboard and mouse. So, uh, oh wow, they actually, on the box, so if you're in the store, see that? You can actually tell the bottom rubber and the top rubber on the outside of the box. So if you're actually running around wherever they have these at one of your retailers and you wanna see what that's all about, you can see exactly that material. So that's kinda nice. Shows you what it looks like on the outside too. I mean, it's just it's a it's a regular scabbard. Uh, let me see if I got some some details for you guys here. Some details. Yeah, I mean it's a splash proof, stain resistance, Cordura light fabric. Cordura helps with the speed of the in the mouse control. Rubberized non-slip red base, which is what you guys see on the box, and glow in the dark ROG scabbard lettering. What? I'm gonna have to take a peek at that in a little bit. All right, let's get this out of here. I'm curious. It is a big boy. So it's much longer than my current scabbard, so that's actually nice. And it's uh, it's thicker, if that makes any sense. Or it's got more height to it, 
which is kind of a problem. With my current setup, my keyboard is sort of half off the scabbard right now. So it is definitely, oh man, it is almost one third of the height of my current scabbard, which is perfect. Uh, I'm not gonna tell you guys my current scabbard. All I'm gonna say is it's definitely better than that one. So I'm kind of excited to give that a try as well. Now, last and certainly not least, they sent me a USB-C to 3.5M DAC with AI noise cancelizing microphone technology. Um, now, this is, I believe, the main purpose for this is doing like phone setups and stuff. Or if you're in an environment that's obviously super noisy and you want to make your sound a little bit more professional. Uh, to be completely honest with you guys, I don't know too much about the clavis. So it's a USB out, 3.5 millimeter jack in. So it's going to be very interesting to see how this functions. It says PC and mobile on the side. So there's two different options for it. Uh, high resolution ESS 9281 quad DAC. This provides higher quality for a headset rather than a normal 3.55 jack. USB-C connector and bundle USB 2.0 adapter ensures broad compatibility with mobile phones, PCs, Macs, Playstations, and Nintendo Switches. And the Armory Crate software allows various settings including 7.1 virtual surround sound, ASUS AI noise cancelling microphone, and Aura lighting and other features. So just a small little thing that they sent me on top of everything else right there so you guys can take a peek at what that's all about and we can test that out over the next six months. So that is everything that ASUS has sent me. Thank you guys for the sponsored opportunity. I'm looking forward to get started and testing out all this equipment over the next couple of months. So thank you guys for supporting the stream. And if you're interested, definitely check out ASUS equipment and Republic of Gamers. Um, I'm really excited. All this stuff is super high quality and I'm kind of blown away. So I'm excited to get into the game. And thanks again for watching.